get out there outdoors is proud to represent the following. You can find them all on Facebook. Wall hangers. Display that European mountain pride. MWD Outdoors. Make them take a dirt nap. A to Z Game Calls. Specializing in custom slate calls. Prime 1 Camo. Be the Predator. Deer Tracks Plaques. For some top quality displays. Hey guys, Mickey Mouse here. Let's get out there outdoors. Uh, we're talking about early December. Early December is going to follow a lot of the same patterns that early November did. Uh, you're going to see the bucks in the cruising routes. They're still they're they're going to be back into looking for does. The second rut is here. Um, so with early December, the does themselves are going to be pushing more towards trying to get to those uh, food sources a little bit more, just because of getting colder weather, competition for food starting to get up a little bit higher. Uh, so you're going to be able to see those bucks out in those fields with the does uh, feeding more now than what you did, you know, in the last three or four weeks. <clears throat> so. Keeping that in mind, the bucks are going to be back on the cruise, especially in the early mornings and those draws. Uh, they're going to be down, you know, running those field edges down downwind of the fields, uh, trying to catch that first doe, that you know, those last does that are coming into into heat this time of year. So don't think that you're out of it altogether with watching any kind of rut activity. Early December can be a very fun time to be out there in the woods. It can be a very active time in the woods, especially depending on the weather that you had uh, during the first rut. <clears throat> you know, if the weather now is a little bit cooler, a little drier, um, you're going to see some more of the activity that maybe you didn't see in early November. Don't give up on it. That, that Watching that buck out there uh, rutting that doe or, or following does into your stand uh, is still possible in early December. So anyway, guys, with that said, I want to give that out there just you know, so you can have a little bit of a, a heads up on what to expect as far as hunting whitetail in early December. If you guys like what we do, please subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, you know, anything you guys would like to see in the videos, I'll leave them in the comments below. You guys can also hunt us up and hunt us down on Facebook. Uh, you guys can, you know, we answer any questions that we have. If we don't know the answers, uh, we'll definitely do the research and find something. Um, there's three of us guys that run the page. Uh, me, uh, Brandon Montgomery, and Tony Lyle. Uh, between the three of us, we have a lot of years uh, of, you know, sitting out uh, observing whitetail and, uh, and hunting. Uh, you know, as far as here in Southern Ohio is concerned. Now, if you guys are going to talk about, uh, you know, the big stalks and stuff out west, that's not really our game here in Ohio. Uh, we don't have the open ground quite to do that kind of thing. Um, wish we did. That would be an awesome, awesome adventure. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll get together and get out there. But uh, <clears throat> with that said, guys, you all have fun. Get out there early December. Look for the cruising routes. Food sources are, are going to be more into play. Yes, plan your hunts accordingly. All right, guys. You have fun again. Thank you.